Hey guys, uh, Jim back again with another video. Um, in today's video, I'm going to show off my Criterions. All the Criterions are in my collection so far. That I have. I don't have as many as other people have in their collection, but I do have a few so far. I plan to get more in time, but um, I always wait for uh, Criterions to come on sale on Amazon or I get them as soon as they're released because they're cheaper. Because once the sale is over, like you know how when movies come out new, they, get a, they have a sale price and they go up in value. I always wait and get them as soon as they come out when they're on sale because I usually only get them if, like, if Criterion's having a sale or um, Amazon's having so many percentage off them that I pick them up because everybody knows Criterion's are not the cheapest. They're always a lot more money than other companies, so I just I can pick them up when I can get them on sale usually. So, But anyways, let's get into all the ones I have so far. So the first one I have um, I'm going to show is uh, David Lynch's Eraserhead. 1977, I'm sure everybody has this one in their collection. The back has a whole lack of special features. One of David Lynch's best films. This is a masterpiece, Eraserhead. One of the all-time best films from David Lynch. Loved this movie. There's all the special features you get. Of course, it's got the 4K transfer, which I really won't notice on my TV until I get my new TV. You won't notice unless you have a 4K television and Blu-ray player, the 4K transfer. You have to have, like, the TV and Blu-ray player before you'll notice the difference in the 4K transfer, which I plan to have soon for new 4K TV. So, you have to see how good this looks on a 4K television. So, yeah, so there's the eraser head. Next up is Dazed and Confused. Um... This one's got a lot of special features. I used to have the old um, Days of Confused Blu-ray, but then I upgraded to this one. Um, this also has a lot of uh, a lot of uh, bonus features as well. This has like uh, Richard Linklater um, commentary, I believe, audio commentary. Of course, the director making of Days of Confused, a 50-minute documentary, um, rare set interviews and behind-the-scenes footage from the 10th year anniversary celebration. Addition footage, deleted scenes. Addition footage, yeah, and then of course, I'll look at, like, then they had that reunion. This is like a really long reunion, it's like an hour long or something. So, yeah, this has a lot of special features on it. This version of Dazed and Confused by Criterion. It's a really good one to have. It also has a really good booklet, but I'm not going to pull it out right now because then the poster that's too hard to get back in. But I'm sure you guys to see it in here with other YouTubers that showed it. The next one up is Salo or 120 Days of Sodom. This also has a nice booklet. The earlier ones by Criterion notes have really nice booklets to them. And the newer ones, they just put slips, the little slip mitts inside. They have these ones, yeah, the older ones come with booklets. Like I know I used to do them with booklets, the older ones. And now the newer ones, they just come with little slip, like, slip, like little, like, yeah, just like little slips inside. But the older ones I used to, because they used to put more, better booklets than that inside of them. But the newer ones, um, uh, are uh, really cool because I really like the booklets in them and stuff like that. So, yeah, this is 1976, 116 minutes. This is really, of course, it's in um Italian, but it has English subtitles. It's an Italian movie. This is supposed to be shot during World War II era. That's when it came out. Like when the movie said, it means a World War II piece. Really good film. Really controversial film, but a classic nonetheless. So there's all the ones they have in like these type of ones. And then let's move on to like the the um, clear case uh, ones I have, like they're in these type of cases. The only ones I have left up with them booklet ones right now. I plan to get more, but they're the ones I got so far. Next up I got is um 1971 classic, Harold and Maude. Absolutely adore this film. This is just an all time classic. I'm sure a lot of people have seen it. Um, the only thing with this one it lacks is it doesn't have as many special features as some of the other sets do, but um, I said it just looks just, just amazing on Blu ray. Um, uh, yeah, the only thing that this one's lacking is a, a few special features, but other than that, it's just a magnificent, um, movie. Next up is The Graduate, which I believe just came out last year by, um, Criterion. And all these, if you know, these two have numbers on the spine, like this one's 800. Which one's Harold and Maude? 
608. Like they all have different numbers in the spine when they were released. So this was like around 800 when this one came out. I'll show you what I mean with like the newer ones. See how they just put like little slips inside, like slipments. Like it's just like people talking about the movie that they don't get any buckles like you do on the older ones. This one's just like a little thing about a film credit talking about the movie and stuff like that. But still pretty cool. At least put that inside there. So. Now what I like about this one of the graduate by the Criterion is it has a brand new interview with um, Dustin Hoffman. He talks about how he got the part in the movie and stuff like how he was doing plays before he got the part and stuff like that. It's a really, really good interview with him. And of course he's got the 25th anniversary talking about the film, like all the behind the scenes stuff. The documentaries from like the old um, three disc, uh, DVDs that came out from Best Buy quite a few, long, few years back. Well not a few years but quite a, like, a long time like about over 10 years ago whenever it came out. I have the DVD set. The three discs one that came with the two DVDs and then the, C the CD, bonus CD, it's Simon Garfunkel. But yeah, this is a lot of the extras are everywhere and then it's got a bunch of new special features too for this release. Awesome, awesome film. This is like in my top, um, top ten films of all time. Love The Graduate. Absolutely love this film. Classic. And another one's another one of my top ten films of all time. City Lights with Charlie Chaplin. This is my favorite Charlie Chaplin film. Absolutely love this movie. Um... I mean, what can you say about this movie that people's been talking about it for years? I mean, there's really not much you can say about this one. It's just a fantastic film. Um, of course, released in 1931, 86 minutes. Um, <coughs> excuse me, guys. Just, sometimes just start randomly coughing sometimes. Um, but yeah, this has a lot of special features on it, too, as well. It's got some good screen tests. Um, got commentary. Comes with a nice booklet. Let's just quickly show you the booklet. Got some nice pictures inside. A lot of it's just, lot, but there is some pictures. A lot of it's just about the film, but there is some nice pictures inside too. There's where she sees him at the end of the movie when she can finally see. She sees him when she finally sees him for like the first time. That's just such a powerful scene right there. Yeah, it comes with a very nice booklet. I'll put that back after. Okay, and the next one I got is The Tin Drum, which is a German film set during World War II. This is another very controversial film, but also a classic. And it's only released in 1979. It has quite a bunch of new special features as well on this one. This movie's been banned in certain parts. I mean, if you've seen the movie, you pretty well know why it's so controversial, why it was banned in some places. For anybody that's seen the movie, you know what I'm talking about. The Tin Drum. Yeah, I got the Tin Drum. And the last one I got is Eating Raul. The Paul Bartel film, which is a classic. Um, this, These are the two newest ones I just recently bought, was the Tin Drum and Eating Raul. They're the two newest ones that I bought. You can see on my video last year, I bought them on Amazon. I had a sale on some criterions. These two were on sale. I bought Eating Raul and the Tin Drum. Um, Yeah, this has some new special features as well with this set. A lot of it's released from the old DVD set, I think, too, as well. It's got a, quite a few special features for this release. So anyways, guys, yeah, so that's just a quick video. Well, not really a quick video, but a video showing you all my criterions that I own so far in my collection. Now, when I get more down the road, I'll do another updated video showing them more when I get more in my collection. Probably, like, maybe... In another year or two, I'll do another video on my Criterion showing you when I get more, when I, once my collection expands more. But I thought I'd show you this video showing the ones I have so far. I'll be having a few more coming in, in the next couple months because I got some in pre-order from Amazon that I pre-ordered when they're coming out. Like, Woman of the Year I got coming in. That one John Waters film I pre-ordered. I can't think of the name of it right now. I pre-ordered the new John Waters one, and then I pre-ordered... um. A couple other ones too. I can't think of what the name is, but I know Woman of the Year is one of them. And once I get them in the mail, I'll show you those uh, I'm bowling when I get them in the mail. So, anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video of me showing you my criterions that I have so far in my collection. And I'll see you all guys in my next video. Take care. Bye.